Your head's backwards, by the way. Oh, never mind. I'm Anyways. Evil. <laughs> What's up, guys? Fortnite here. Welcome back to the Feed the Beast server. Let's play. Um, Nadir and I decided to move our base. <laughs> so, um, we're going to be cannibalizing pretty much all the stuff here today, but not until I build an RS latch. So... Latch. Oh, we need to get the turbine up and running as well. <laughs> yeah. Actually, shouldn't it be a toggle latch? Yeah, toggle latch is uh, the yeah, thing. Toggle latch will do it. Beef chronic diagnostics tool. Rifle for block to show debug info. And. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's an admin tool. Oops. Should not be looking at that. Okay. Okay. So yes. Latch. One, Thank two of bro. these. Thirty Peter using. Oh, I still. Two of these. And then this. And we don't need the knot gate. Okay. So I'm gonna show them the new base. Oh, um, I did some Thomcraft work, and... I have some bad magic. <laughs> yeah. And Again? With the slam the there you go, I opened it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Every time. Nadir, if you didn't notice, um, you notice how there's very few lamps set up? Oh, yeah, I did, I did see that. I'm using gaseous glowstone. In. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm floating. <laughs> float. I actually switched out my traveler's wings with uh, ones without feather falling because it was getting annoying. You just hold shift to go down faster. It's the only thing I like about. Yeah. Do it. Oh, oh I did it break again. Okay. I, I forgot to set the frequency to one. Okay. Look at this. Uh, yeah. And then it toggles. So we're basically uh, having this yeah. we're having this big castle that we're making. And I was like, hey, you know what would work great for the doorway since it's like this big thing? A nice drawbridge set up to open and close the doors. So once I have this open, uh, basically I have drawbridge described disguised as stone bricks and then using great wood planks. Which I might want to switch that out with something else. I'm not sure yet. But um, for right now, I'm using great wood planks. And it's 68986 eight, for the height differences. So, yeah. All right. So, here's our new AE system start. <laughs> we went a little bit that overboard. <laughs> right. It, it It's only been powered so far. So... It it's. <laughs> it's oh just, no! I've been visited by a cat. Oh, go away, cat. It's just Not a big now. controller, and then we have sixty, a six hundred seventy-five million RF storage with this vibrant capacitor bank, and we have um, a reactor right here, and we're working on a, setting a up a little reactor. A little reactor, yes. And we're it working on amazing. setting up steam turbines right here. So, um, the reactor is going to output steam, and then the turbine will spin and power our vibrant capacitor bank. So, yeah. Um, I've been thinking of making it bigger, but I don't think we need, like, that much RF. Yeah. I did put a resonant energy cell directly against the AE system because I think it's fine to have the rest of the system power off if that ever happens for some crazy reason but we want to make sure that the AE system stays on right okay thanks for enough okay so resonant energy cell which stores 80 million RF this stores 
like uh, this multi-black structure stores 675 million RF and yeah and this right here is turning off our Enderman farm <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that thing drains power like we did not even know. Right, but it's also good for getting dimlets, which is for something oh, called RF works. dimensions. Yeah, it, um... Oh, damn it, I'm a monitor short. You're a monitor short? I'm a monitor short. <laughs> Those monitors are expensive, dude. <laughs> Big Fun. Glass surrounded by gold. That's not too expensive. I mean, with how much resources we have, that's not expensive. <laughs> floating, floating, floating. Stop floating, please. Oh, advanced monitors. Yeah. Right, for for different type of monitor. Okay. Um, After you craft that, should I start disassembling the stuff for the AE system? Uh, yeah, you should, yeah, start bringing the AE system over. Yeah, first thing uh, I'll do is bring the super soaring drive over. Yes, I'll clear some space out behind the monitor to set it up. Okay. And then <laughs> next... Nothing like floating blocks in space. Yeah, and then the next thing I'll do is the, um... The next thing I'll do, I think, is our automation of the ore processing. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop pulling. Oh, so I have this tool belt here that lets me have a different hotbar. So I basically have my adventuring slash magic hotbar, and then I have my engineer's hotbar, which is pretty nice. It's pretty much the same setup I've got, except I've got a blood metric bar. Yeah. Okay. So it's ME interface on the storage size. Oh? What was all that Enderman sound? Oh well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ME interface, storage bus. Okay. Okay, um, and I have plenty of conduits, so we're good. <laughs> oh, that's a nice big monitor. Yep. Um, back here isn't exactly the cleanest thing ever, but... Yeah, because you have your redstone glove and your super powerful super pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. So you're just like, it's just destroy everything. I like how it works with everything but like certain blocks. Like. Uh, and the side stuff doesn't all seem to work. But... Any anything from chisel, it doesn't seem to work. Hey, it's chisel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so where am I putting the super soaring drive? Uh, behind the monitor. I'll just. We'll just, like, bring some dense cable over here. Okay, I'll bring some dense conduit over. So we switched from mostly using the glass fiber cable from Applied Energistics to the. Oh, you need to bring some glass fiber cable anyway. Huh? Because the buses, you need to bring the cable over anyway. Right, I have some glass fiber cable. Okay. I was going, I was going to explain that. So the dense fiber cable and the, uh, or the dense conduit and the normal conduit, is a lot cheaper to craft than what the glass fiber is. However, for putting down like the storage bus and the ME interface, you need to actually use the glass fiber cable. So it's just like mostly conduit. Glass fiber cable at the end. <laughs> okay, so first of all, three storage drives. Um, should I inset them into the ground? Uh, no, 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 no. Keep them above the ground. Okay. So I'm going to come back through here with the resin exchanger and just exchange all that out. 
Where's the elevator going? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so there's one drive. Here's another drive. Oh, um, okay, yeah, yeah. And here's the last trap. And, uh, it's five cables in this area. I made this very crowded for myself to work in. Let's see, so I it's made it crowded, I'm sorry. No, no, I, where I decided to put stuff down at. Oh, uh, all right, all right, all right, sorry, man. <laughs> Oh man, oh there's no drives left, I just realized that. <laughs> They're all over there. Yeah, dude. Um, I need to grab next a thing... I just... <laughs> yeah, it's a slap a monitor on for now. Okay. And... Are we gonna run dense conduit all the way over to where the drives are stored at? Uh, yeah, that would be the idea. Okay. We might as well start using these dancers on this big ME drive. That's mainly decoration. <laughs> oh, shoot. Where did that go? One of my dense uh, conduits disappeared. Did you take uh, it? No. Oh. Oh, why have I got magnet mode on? I did make a magnet for you, by the way. <laughs> the tier zero Thank magnet. You. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just straight all the way down. Oh, you're going from this corner here. Very bad. Uh, uh, yeah. then come up from behind the... Oh, are we going from behind? And they come okay. up from behind. Say that. Okay, well, I have a couple of tendrils of dense semi cable hanging down now. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Ba, 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 da, da. I should probably start doing this. Uh... Ah, shoot. That's one script downloaded. It's two scripts downloaded. Yeah, so, um, if you, for the viewers, if you've ever seen a YouTuber called Direwolf20, um, we are using his reactor control program just because it's really well made, and, yeah, huge fan. Oh, no. <laughs> Does it not work? Oh, the monitor, the, the computer needs to be underneath the monitor. Okay, just... Labels that, uh, react. So, there we go. Get in me. <laughs> Drive. One, two, three. And then next to Fluix cables. One goes okay, here, one goes here. Um, and it's storage on this side, interface on that side. So storage bus and... Oh boy, oh boy, I forgot about that part. Oh boy. What part? The part where I gotta set up the, the reactor and like all 
stuff. Computer ports, yay. Computer ports, right, yeah. And then there's like oh, some sort right. it's all over here now. <laughs> Keep going back, there's nothing that's not there. Yeah. Um, I will... The next thing I'll bring over is the wireless. Okay. Um... Um, when you're done accessing, I'm going to basically break the system for a second. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Because I'm, I Damn need it. to put more than eight channels down for just a second. Or actually, I guess I could just break these drives and then it won't be an issue. What are you trying to do? Oh, nope. That's not going to work. Put the quartz fiber down. But <laughs> you want me to do it? <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I got it. I got, got it. Right you there, got right there, and then we got there and there. Okay, got it. <laughs> there, we, there we go. We gotta lose power for a moment. We're gonna lose power for a moment. Yes, because I'm breaking the reactor. Well, we're gonna just lose power input for a second. Oh right, well this isn't working. <laughs> oh man, I've I've gotten so attached to things and <laughs> art here. <laughs> uh turbine control board. Oh boy. Uh one of those. The wireless will actually go directly on the dense cable uh dense conduit. It will work because it's a separate block and not like a sub piece of the glass fiber, you know? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm putting the wireless access point pretty close to the top. So it's using 59 AE per tick, which is not much. Uh wireless access point is back. Yay. Oh, we don't have a security terminal. Um, I will go grab the security terminal, and then and we will... I don't have to place it down because it's in my name. Okay. I but I'll grab it. Scanner. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to break it then. I'll try, but... Oh, I could break it. Nice. And then we'll need to relink our cards. Wee. Plop. Okay. Security terminal. And biometric card. Get these with me. <laughs> uh, where am I going to put this? So the reason we decided to move was it was all fine and dandy that the base was organically glowing, growing, but um, thanks for saying that it's done. <laughs> um. It's all fine and dandy that the base was organically growing, 
but um, we figured that it was starting to get kind of cramped, and so we wanted to move over and actually plan out where everything went, right? Mm-hmm. That's how okay. it went. Okay, let's take all the ports. Oh, you connected... Oh, sweet lord. Sorry, guys, reset my sounds. Forgot oh, to Oh, everything was very loud. Oh? I was deafened for a good moment there. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Um. Oh, there's... Tinkers has a lot of cool things I didn't realize was in there before Nadir showed it to me. So, there's like the Traveler's Goggles, the Traveler's Wings. These goggles I put night vision on, and they also have a zoom ability. Um, and then there's this glove, which just throw a ton of redstone on it to have haste and be able to mine quickly and stuff. It's pretty great. I'm thinking for the most part, we'll use like RF tunnels. So, because, <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, the ME conduit is cheaper in the long run than what the Ender Energy conduit is. I was gonna say, I just make Tesseracts, dude. <laughs> yeah, th this is, this is technically true. We already but, have like, one hooked up to power, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to go grab uh, some some of our machines and bring them over. So... Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Oh, also, quick warning. We're going to need a lot of Enderium. Okay. Auto crafting. Yeah. Was able to handle it before, and once I set everything up again, it should be able to handle it again. It was not able to handle my request. It didn't have enough anything. Okay. The big request did. <laughs> and, I did and do you, have any blocks? Uh, 860. 24 blocks of Enderium. What do we need the Enderium for? Uh, the co for basically the coils at the back of the turbine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna quickly go shut off our quarry because um, our ender chest is about to overfill. Oh no. Um, actually it has already started to overfill. <laughs> it's just spewing everywhere. You have all the dense cables, don't you? I do have all the dense cables. I was gonna hook up the reactor so it would start automatically filling up, but it looks like I can't do that. Can't do that yet, nope. Okay. So I turned off the quarry for now. Which was definitely overfull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> trying to figure out how far away I have to be. There we go. I'm just trying to dump all the stuff that I just picked up into the AE system. Oh, we only yeah, it's have roughly one. Like oh, we only have a tiny amount of. Yeah, I need to move all the drawer boxes. Oh yeah. Can those be moved with a dolly? Yes. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure they could be. Okay, and I have wrong. caps lock. Okay.
Yeah, big reactor one is connected. Ah, the other. Yeah, computer one is connected to that. The dolly's pretty smart with, like, most inventories. Like, Apiary's chest isn't technically a chest, so that makes sense. Yes, you can pick up the drawers with the dolly. Sweet. Perfect. Had a slight panic moment there, but I was thinking it wouldn't. Yeah. Where do you want me to set up the drawers at? Uh, actually just behind, oh, just behind the SSD, maybe on the other side of the room. Okay. So, like, I'll have it butt up to the monitor. Like this. Okay. Oh, no, does it rotate? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, we want to do it this way? Oh, I was, I, was, I was just seeing if I could rotate it, in case you try to put them down a different way. Yeah, I I wanted to have it like this, like out in this direction. That's, that's fair enough. And kind of like we just have a quarter com coming back. Oh yeah, cyanide. I think it's more cyanide. Yep. So we I'm... That. We're actually getting close to a half hour, so... This is going to be part one of the move, and I will come back for the next episode, and I will finish moving drawer boxes over and, um, like, the different machines and stuff like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.